Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the main card of UFC 174 right now with our returning guest, regular guest, Nick Kalikas. His website is MMAOddsBreaker.com. And Nick Kalikas, of course, is a uh, professional consultant for numerous uh, sports books, high profile sports books on MMA odds making and booking. And uh, he also opens lines uh, for these MMA fights. And also from MMA Odds Breaker on the phone, joining us is Brad Tazchuk. Now, let's start with the main event, uh, Demetrius Johnson and Ali Bagautinov and uh, the other four fights on the main card have very competitive betting lines. Here, of course, Demetrius Johnson minus 550 and that's very understandable why it is, right? Johnson's made three straight very impressive title defenses. He's looking like, uh, you know, maybe the second best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in all of MMA right now. Uh, you know, people thought that maybe Benavides would be the one who would uh, give Johnson some trouble. That didn't happen. Uh, Brad Tastruck, what do you think? Is there any area where, uh, where Johnson is at a disadvantage? Well, I think in terms of straight punching power, uh, Bagatinov might have a slight advantage, but it's just that. It's a very slight advantage. Obviously, we've seen Johnson's really improve his, both his technical striking and with that has come along his power. We saw that in the Benavidez fight. So I really think that uh, Ali's outmatched here in pretty much every facet. So if he doesn't take advantage of that punching power and get... Probably a, a first-round KO. I think right. that uh, Johnson's going to be too much. All right, so at minus 550 or or Ali at plus 425, which side would you take? Johnson. Got to stick with yeah. the, the guy who's hot. I think I would. I mean, I don't think I'd risk any actual money on uh, Ali at plus 425. Nick Kalikas has it all been uh, Demetrius Johnson. Actually, there's been a little bit of back and forth action, but the line continues to increase a little bit. I open at minus 425 for DJ, mm -hmm. um, so it has been bet up a little bit. But again, it's kind of been a gradual increase. I mean, there has been some straight action on both sides, but of course, DJ is getting a little bit more parlay love. I'm sure in most right. spots. All right, but I, I'm just assuming that uh, that the books are going to be overwhelmed with Johnson uh, Johnson action, and that if he does win, it'll be a small loser for the books. More than likely, I mean, but hopefully yeah. they get some straight action back on Ali. I mean, the weight class is still. You know, fairly competitive in most cases. I mean, like you guys said, though, DJ has looked phenomenal. I mean, it's hard to see this guy lose to anybody right now. But right. I still think that Ali has a ton of punching power. And those guys that love the pure knockout chance at the current price, I'm sure we'll get some right. decent big betters coming in just to try to take a stab there. So hopefully there's enough of those guys that come in to balance it out or even have us on DJ. But you're right. If not, the books are probably going to lose small. And there's not much you could do in a situation like that. Yeah, is Ali's only chance uh, catching Johnson with a, with a fluky punch? Or is there any way that, uh, that Johnson skills might uh, for for some reason not live up to uh, what we've seen um yeah you know what i probably hate to say it but it's that's the only chance he's gonna have right. to land that uh i wouldn't say lucky because only has a ton of power right, right. but he's gonna have to l land that knockout punch for sure other than that i don't see him uh, getting a decision against dj dj is the better fighter overall he's a better wrestler i mean ali has decent takedown defense decent grappling in his own right but I mean, DJ has better stand-up overall. He's faster. He's more athletic. And look, like you said, the competition that he's been through right now. So it's Ali by KO. If you're going to bet it, if you like him at all, that's probably the way to go. Um, but if not, I mean, DJ is uh, definitely the side here. All right. Uh, Nick Kalikas, aside from John Jones, is there anyone you would rate higher than, uh, than Demetrius Johnson in terms of pound uh, pound for pound uh, in MMA right now? He's definitely up there. I mean, look what the guy's done. Even at 135, he was a, a kind of a contender. So um, no doubt about it, DJ is great. So I think he's one of the most well-rounded, one of the best overall fighters, and he continues to improve. So right. I do think he's right up there with John Jones, honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, Brad Tazchuk, uh, I, I, look, I'm agreeing with you. I think it would be for me either uh, DJ or nothing in this one. But if uh, if we don't want to lay 550, is there any kind of prop that you think might have a little bit uh, more reasonable odds that still might have some value? Uh, well, I've been looking at a lot of the, the spread props lately, mm -hmm. and Demetrius Johnson is one of the perfect fighters for it, mm -hmm. because especially now that he started to show some finishing instincts. Obviously, he got the submission over John Moraga, he got the knockout over mm -hmm. Joseph, Joseph Benavidez, so it used to be that you could count on uh, Demetrius Johnson by decision as a, a nice prop that would give you some better odds, but mm -hmm. I think you have to look at uh, Johnson minus five and a half points on the, the judges' mm -hmm. cards or nine and a half points, whatever spread they end up deciding on. Right. Uh, I think that's the way to go here. All right, not bad. Brad Tazchuk, I, I like that advice. All right, thanks, guys. I think we uh, have our pick here. Demetrius Johnson, minus 550.